And it's a happy new decade. I was going to say new year, but oof, it's 2020. We're here in the future. We got flying cars and self walking suitcases and also Marty McFly hoverboards. Whoosh. We got all sorts of crazy things here in the future. Not really. It's the same as it always was. Almost, almost, because we've we've got a few things we're gonna go through. You're looking at the the generic YouTube desktop which I've cleaned up for the most part. There's still a, a few things because they're for future projects, like as you can see right here. Oh, CTR3, CTR coins pay out because Crash Team Racing is, or Season 6, is ending tomorrow. So that will be the next three. So I want to kind of make another part of Crash, how far we've come, because Seasons 1, 2, and 3, if you have... Uh, watch the channel for any amount of time you'll know that they were a broken mess and season four fixed some things they did some good work any driver with any engine so you know you even though ripperoo started off as a turning character he could now be a speed class or an acceleration class so that was a good change so i wanted to do like a, another part to that with seasons four five and six and see how far we've come so Obviously, the notepad is the script, and I've got a couple of tweets there ready to ready to potentially use, and I've got some footage for that. And then there's some spore audio here, because I wanted to make a, a spore video, but that's for later, that's for later. So yeah, the desktop is mostly clean, although there is a few things that are currently being uh, on the desktop for the sake of using them, like up here... Hey, look at this. Dragged it out here. VOD 5. Because, you know, we uh, we do the Pony Podcast every Saturday. We talk about the show. We talk about different writing techniques. Even though it is predominantly focused around an episode of the show, we do trail off into other shows. Like the one that started today, The Owl House. Oh, The Owl House is good. Uh, I've, I've seen that now. Owl House. That's nice. There's some writing, writing moments that I'll be talking about from that in tonight's episode, although you probably won't see this video before tonight's podcast is up. So yeah, we, we've got that, and that's kind of like why there's a little bit on the desktop. But, taking away from the desktop, in fact, you know, just keep, uh, keep looking at Twitch for a moment. Take away from the desktop, back to me. So it's 2020, and this is my you know, yearly New Year's message, and a lot of stuff has happened this year. You know, the channel has been stable. I wouldn't say it's really grown. It got about 400 subscribers across the course of the entire year. But again, thank you very much for that. We're at about 1,442, something like that. So thank you, thank you everybody for, for supporting me over this past year. But there have obviously been things that have happened with YouTube, especially now in 2020 with the whole copper situation for kids. It's um, hit a couple of people's YouTube channels. It's nothing to worry about. There's going to be no 42 grand fines. Don't worry about that. But it's really kind of like been a bit up and down on YouTube and streaming has kind of taken precedent over over content creation because there's not as many restrictions on Twitch, Mixer, wherever you're streaming, your own personal streaming site, like how Vine, Vine Source has their own personal streaming site. There's there's not as many uh, restrictions. So I've done a lot of streaming. A lot of my first impressions of games have been somebody saying, hey, download this on stream. We download it on stream and then we... we do a first impressions, an unedited bit. I still make edited Let's Plays, um, but it's been more more streaming. And after everything that happened this year, I looked at it and I said, right, I kind of want to do a hybrid style. So what I want to do going forward, because a lot of people are, are coming out, they're enjoying the streams, uh, I want to push 
Uh, Spyro, they're enjoying the streams. You've only had three viewers. No, they're just the podcast ones. When I actually do gameplay ones, they all, they, they get a lot more because some people don't want to sit there and look at a look at a picture of the of the. Let me get the reviewers web up. Some people just don't want to stare at that for like two hours because nothing's going on. They want a pretty moving picture. So the gameplay ones do get a little bit. And also, they're on Twitch. I stream on Mixer as well. I've been kind of on the fence whether to just fully go to Mixer because Twitch. It's like if you are on Twitch, you're already big. It's very hard with the amount of people that are now on Twitch to get that ball rolling, whereas Mixer, it's a lot smaller, and I seem to get a lot more people coming into Mixer because it's like, hey, there's next to nobody on here. We found you, so we're going we gonna to follow you, and I, I get quite a few more on Mixer. So I'm kind of still on the fence about whether I'm going to go full, just like dive into Mixer, or not dive into Mixer. That's that's something I'm going to think about over the next week. Because everything that happens this week. Everything that gets discussed here. Will be happening within the next week. But the uh, main point about the videos and streaming is. I'm going to do a hybrid style. Where I'm going to focus a lot more on streaming this year. So come out watch the videos raw. But I will be treating the streams as a live let's play. So... I'll be starting the game and I'll, I'll be saying like, oh hey, you know, um, let me let me just start up Clicker Heroes or just 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 something crappy for a minute, for for the sake of the argument where we're not having to focus on the game. It's just kind of idling in the background for you. This is a good thing to kind of like have idling in the background while you're talking, so you can kind of get a feel. So you know, I'd start up the game. As I would on a let's play, I'm like, oh hey guys, welcome, you know, welcome to the stream. If you're live, if you're here right now watching live, that's great. And for anybody watching the edited version on YouTube, welcome as well. Um, we're gonna be playing more of Clicker Heroes 2. We're, ne we're never gonna play Clicker Heroes 2. Don't worry about that. Again, this is just kind of like, hey look, we can have we can have something running for you to look at. But it'd be like, hey, welcome to the stream if you're watching live. Welcome to the edited version. If you didn't catch the stream, you're watching it on YouTube. If you're here live, we're playing more of Clicker Heroes 2. And today, we're going to be doing the ice level. And then I would continue the commentary as if it was a let's play. Like, there would be... For Twitch, maybe, for stream, maybe there'd be some silent moments. Like, if I, yeah, if I see a funny moment, I might stay silent for... Maybe five seconds, maybe ten seconds, just so that that's where I could edit in like an actual visual gag in the video. But for the most part, it would be just like a live version of a Let's Play. I'd be constantly providing commentary as if it were a Let's Play. But with the Twitch chat on the side, not actually like visually on the side on the video, but with the Twitch chat on my second monitor where I can watch them, I can be saying like, okay... You know, we've encountered um, this yeti here, and we're swinging away. And then after this, we're going to go to the boss. You know, normal normal Let's Play commentary. But then if I look up and see that somebody in the chat is talking, and I can quickly cut to live stream mode and be like, so while we're doing this, I see that Mr. Mr. X is going to give it to you in the chat. is asking this question. Thank you for the question, Mr. X. Um, I, I would say that the weather is rather cold over here, but back to, you know, then back to the let's play mode where it's like, okay, so we have killed the Yeti man. Yeti man is now severely injured and about to die. So now we can go and find the, the secret area. So that's, that's kind of like how, as an example, how I would, um, attempt to work these streams. So it'd be like, you're watching a live let's play where... If you're there live, you, it's it, great. You can come out. You can see me live. You can interact with me live. And you might be like, ooh, there's a, about a 10 second pause there. But if you watched it on YouTube, you know, if you missed it, or if, if you watched both, if you watched the edited version, then you would see, like, the, the visual gags. You would see, like, all of the visual edits that I could do when I am not live and I can sit down with my editing software and say, right, well, this is where this 10-second gap was. 
I can now put this 10 second gap. I can now put this clip in this gap. I can now put this visual aid in this gap. I can now put this here. So that that's how that would go. And then keeping on with the whole live stream thing, and I hope this works, I really do. Uh, keeping on with the whole live stream thing. Now, I don't know if Streamlabs will work because it might say, hey, you're using another piece of software to capture the screen. Hopefully it doesn't so that I can just kind of show off the layers. I did get some borders and stuff that I'll also be able to use. Uh, okay, so yeah, it's it's just a blank screen. I kind of figured it'd be a blank screen because... Oh no, there we go. It's not a blank screen. So if I were to... Let me just switch on the PlayStation. Beep. And then we'll activate PlayStation mode. Um, this mode, please. Or is this not going to show up for a minute because we are using Camtasia? You shouldn't really use two recording programs at the exact same time because it'll try and capture both. Uh, what if I do this? There you go, there you go. And as you can see, we got this nice border. If anybody was watching the best games of the year, you might have seen this border a little bit in the Luigi's Mansion 3 game because I was experimenting with the border. And whether I want it or not, whether I would keep it on or off during the live streams, you'd have to let me know. Let me just kind of start the, press the start button here so that we've got a game running. Tell me how it looks. You know, I'll, I'll play a little bit live on this video right now. Let's load, let's load Crash. We'll just do single races. We won't go online so that we can not focus as much. You know, the AI will set the AI on easy so it's not as ridiculous and we can just kind of go around the track while still keeping the narrative going but how does this border look do you think this border looks better because you can you can see it in here Shh. no shush cortex shush we're, we're, we're making a making a video but yeah does this border look better and if i just scroll up to the borders now let's switch it off what do you think that's the border off where you can see the entire thing, or, or do you think it'd look better a little bit stylized with, with this gold border on? And we've also got a couple of other borders that was done by my good friend Flick the Changeling, or Lackwood on DeviantArt, where we can, we can have, is this border 2, is that the webcam one? Yeah, we can have little webcam in the bottom, and I've got some default images, so look, oh, if, if I ever needed a webcam, hey, look at that, there's, there's a little little thing in the bottom right there where you can see the webcam or if we were doing art then you switch the webcam border off you switch this off and then you activate border three. Oh, look at this uh, switch border one off as well you activate border three and it's like hey we got a piece of art by by somebody in the chat and they oh no that's on the wrong layer sorry let's drag that one down so you can see and it's like oh look at that we got we got this piece of art and it's in this nice it's in this nice little frame, and as you can see, I can, I can swap them all in live time. I can be like, right, well, that that was the art. So then you just like close. Oh, sorry, you just close this piece of art, and then you say like, oh, look, here's is uh, that's the creating link. Oh, look, here here's another piece of art right there, and you'll just be like, what the hell is this image? You won't get that unless you watch the podcast. It's an inside joke, but it's like, hey, look, there's this piece of art here. Oh, what's that? We're on another piece of art. There's the... Oh, God, what have I done? Hey, let's, let's just bring that back down to make it bigger. But, oh, look, there's that piece of art there. And we can keep switching them on and off, on and off as we need to. And then we can just be like, okay, let's play time. Let's put the border back up. Let's switch the art border off. And then we're back on the let's play. So, kind of kind of all... Get, get rid of those... No, no, no. Get, get rid of these lines, please. There you go. Kind of all works out nice and neatly. So... Let me know how you how you think these borders look. Let me know how those would look. So yeah, it'd be streamed, and I'll just do one quick race so you can kind of get a feel for whether you like the border or not, because this would be a full moving picture. But yeah, let me know whether when we're doing the streams, because obviously this would transfer to the Let's Play, because we can press the record button down at the bottom here, so it would record this border as well. So. If you were watching the Let's Play, would you also be fine with this border? So we'll, we'll do a race so you can see it in motion. And you know what? Let's make it bigger so that you can see it in, in full motion here. And then you can decide for yourselves whether 
it looks good or not. I'll probably use it for the first impressions, which will be the last thing we get to. I'll probably use it for the first impressions as well, to get some extra feedback, because, you know, one racing crash might not be enough to really give a, give a good feel for, for what's going on. But we'll, we'll see. So I'm just going to go around this track real quick like, you know, get the, well, you can't really get Blue Fire going on this track. But you can at least get, you know, these perfect, or at least nearly perfect boosts to get like a, a good quick time around the track. So I don't waste any more of your time than you have to in said update video. But at least you're getting a feel for what the uh, what the images would look like via a stream or via a let's play and whether you'd want the border on or off so we're just gonna quickly go around these are two laps and then we're done and I am screwing up because I am also like trying to keep an eye on um, Camtasia on my other screen because again we are using one recording software to record the game and one recording software to record the screen and it's uh, you know you really shouldn't do that like when you're streaming we'd be using full OBS so we could swap between uh, PC screen and game screen on OBS or Streamlabs sorry on Streamlabs so it'd only be the one software recording both screens which is what ideally if you were becoming a streamer and you've got two, two screens, that's ideally what you would want, is just one device recording both screens, but because we've got Camtasia recording one screen and uh, Streamlabs recording another, it's like, ooh, that's, it's not liking it too much. But that, that's a race just to see how you felt about the border. So there, there we go. So that's that's what I've got planned. That's what I've got um, planned. I just want to put this on mute now because I can still hear the music. No, no, no. We don't want to try again. We want to pause you. We want to stop you so that there's no music playing. And then we want to close OBS. And I'm going to keep calling it OBS. And we'll just bring Twitch back up for a moment. So uh, yes, that's what I have got planned currently. Or we'll bring Clicker Heroes back up just so that you've got something to watch. We're still on him, or is that a different one? I think that might be a different one. We just took so long to uh, kill him. Like, let's uh, let's drop a point into that. Let's drop a point into that. There you go. That should... Yeah, look at that HP. That's going down faster now. But yeah, so that's my plans for what's going on in terms of video making. We'll do a live stream and we'll just treat it as a live let's play and then after the stream I will download the VOD of the stream and that way I can chop up the VOD into like an actual edited version so if you're watching it live there might be some gags that might not make sense but then if you were to watch it uh, if you were to watch it via YouTube then it would make sense. I mean, I don't know if people that would watch it live would want to watch an edited version, because that's like watching the same thing twice. Maybe they would, but it would definitely be for the people that couldn't make it out to the live stream. So, you know, if you couldn't make it out to the live stream, you didn't miss anything, you're just going to be watching an edited version. Depends if you want to watch it raw or not. However, however, that being said, that being said, let's move on to the other one. The one that... People are always a little bit <sighs> eh about, and that's that's money. Now I want to make this clear before I get into this. I am in no need of money, right? I am not going to be sitting here begging for money at all. Uh, and I will have a a paint up in a moment for for what we've got. But I have got no problem with with finances right now. Because I do have a job, and job pays. However, like like any content creator, like any streamer, if you could do this full time, you know, because some people might say, why do you only stream on two days a week? Why can't we see more? We want to see more. Well, you know, that's, that's what a job does. The job takes away from the stream time. So you, you, have, to, you have to say, Mr. Bossman, 
I, I need the money, so I'm, I'm going to sit here and, and clean the shelves or whatever to, to get that money because that's, that's where the income comes from. So I'm in no financial problems. I, I do not need the money at all. However, if you would, and this is where my, my idea is, if you would, there is a Patreon. And I have been currently looking, and by the way, I don't want you to send me thousands. It's one of these things where it's like, just take what you need. I don't need thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. That's that's ridiculous. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> that's your name, funny joke. But yeah, that, that's absolutely ridiculous and crazy. And it's like, how much do I realistically need? And, and this is where I worked it out. I'm like, how much... Would I realistically need a month to do this full time? If if you wanted to see it full time, of course. How much would I realistically need? We have to pay rent. That's two hundred and fifty. That's that's the first thing. And yeah, I'll I'll happily tell you prices. We need rent. That's two hundred and fifty. We need groceries. That's about a hundred. You know, because there's other people in the house as well. Um, groceries about a hundred. That's three fifty. And then the gas, the electricity, and the water, they kind of are, like, all tied together. Because if you get it, I don't know how it works in other countries, but if you get um, one with one company, so let's say you get your um, gas with British Gas. British Gas doesn't just do gas. British Gas also does electricity so you can like bundle all three into one company uh, i'm not saying we're with british gas but that's the best equivalent i don't know what's an american can i think of an american gas company because i can only think of american um internet companies like comcast and stuff but uh i'm just going to say like no i can't think of one i'm sorry i i only know of American internet because every all of you in America are always like man Comcast really screws me over uh, Viacom Viacom's being a dick this month so I, I only know about American um, internet companies I don't know about your gas companies but yeah so rent 250 groceries 100 that's 350 gas water and electricity tied together 150 that's 500 that's perfect. That's all I need. It, let's just say I wanted a little bit of luxury as well. Let, let's just be be a little bit generous and say, hey, well, Spyro might need to buy a couple of games for the stream, whatever. Let's let's just say a little bit of luxury, maybe 600. But, like, I could live with 500. I could easily, far easily do this full time on 500. So I was looking, you know, I've got my uh, thing up here, it's my current Patreon, and I was looking at it, and I'm going to really, like, sort this out. I don't know what I do for tiers, because, uh, you know, it's a live stream, I don't know what I can do on a live stream, and I don't want to gate anything. I really, I, like, one thing that, that really cheeses my onions, one thing that I really hate and we're going to come to a Patreon that does it, unfortunately. And it's like, you know, I, I, I respect you as a person, but that's a little bit scummy. Is the locking of a Discord. You know, I, I, I don't want to do that. Especially that. It's like, look, there's my Discord. It's open. It's right here. How do you, how do you create an invite? Um, b -b -b I don't know how you create like one of those. Oh, invite people, you know. There's there, there's a link right on the screen right now. Like you you can see that link right there. Come in, come talk to me. I'm not I'm not gonna like this this the five dollars a month to to get access to a Discord server. Like you know, young yeah, I respect you. You you know, I am subscribed to you. I watch you. You're a very talented individual. But like when you're saying, hey, if you want to speak to me. If you want to talk to me, give me money. No. No. I, I, there, there is a little... There is a slight loss of respect when you start charging for a Discord server. Because it's like... I'm not going to... If somebody wants to talk to me, then just come here and talk to me. Or, you know, even Twitter. Like, I, I have my own Twitter. 
it's right there you know open a new tab I have my own Twitter there it is right there if you want to say something to me send me a line send me send me a private message send me a notification I'll read it uh, I'll respond like locking like saying if you want to talk to me give me money no that's that's bad so I don't know what I do for for like these tiers and I don't know how high I'd go because I was obviously looking at other people for these tiers and I'm like okay well this guy's got three and I do want to keep my gimmick of minimum five like you know because two dollars one dollar it's the same because it's the colored gems like one you know red blue green yellow purple which have the same values as the spiral games of one two five ten twenty five I did have these two as placeholders but they would be limited because again like you know if you're giving me a hundred dollars a month then no no please don't please like if five people give me the hundred dollar tier I would just like lock off all these other tiers I don't think you can actually lock one dollars so that that just be constantly inbound but like if let's just say as a hypothetical somebody give me five all five of these got filled so we were getting the 500 solely from the light gem I'd lock this to one, I'd lock the purple to one, I'd lock the yellow to one, and I don't think you can lock five and lower, but I would literally lock these three to, to one person each, because again, it's it's just take what you need. I don't need to be making two and a half grand. I don't need to be ma Jesus Christ, I, I was about to come to his, uh, his idea, but then I just saw his money. I don't need... 13,000 a month that's that's mad money I don't need that I don't need that I need 500 600 at most so like the second I got that I would start locking tears and be like nah, -uh, that's that's one person now because let's say we we do the reverse and 500 people give me a dollar I'd be like okay 500 people will give me a dollar no nah, light gem that shit just getting deleted this just getting deleted and then this and this would probably be locked to like 10 each that way you know it'd be it'd allow for a slight overflow like 600 again for, for any kind of luxuries but I, I don't really need the luxuries so I, I'd end up start I'd start deleting tiers or locking tiers to, to not have this and uh, as I say why I don't know what I want to do with it because this is the perfect example. There are no tears. I mean, I want to keep my gimmick. I want to keep the gimmick of the of the colored gems being the different values from Spyro. But again, there is no paywalls. I, I, I am with Jim here. There is no paywalls and I will not be gating off content. If you want to come and chat in the Discord, my Discord is open. You want to talk to me on Twitter, it's open. If you want to watch my streams, my streams are open. You want to watch my YouTube, it's all getting uploaded to YouTube. So, I, I would go with this approach. It's a subscription that you don't have to actually subscribe for. And you're not going to get anything. But it's just kind of like, thank you. Thank you so much. So, I'd do that. But maybe if somebody was like, "Hey, here's 25," I might say, "Oh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like draw a picture for you live, you know, just go into to, to um, here for a moment. Where is my uh, thumbnail? You know, I, I just be like, oh, you know, somebody said thank you, and I know this is a quick doodle, but I'd just be like, yay, smiley face, dot dot smiley face, and thank you." thanks thanks Bob thanks Bob except it wouldn't actually be like that it wouldn't be a stick man it would be a, a more um, edited it'd be a more edited picture like the the one that I was doing for frost heart for uh, breath of the wild because breath of the wild 2 got announced which is the uh, the Gerudo girls because the uh, link link dressed up as a girl so it's like hey he, he is now in the same thing, and I am too, because I also liked Breath of the Wild, so it'd be a more, you know, it wouldn't be a stick figure, but that'd be like, that'd be the only reward, and again, that'd be like, purely for, for 
25 and higher and again I am pretty tempted to delete the 150 because while there was a dark gem and a light gem in a hero's tail so it is still kind of in line with the gimmick I don't know if I'm comfortable with somebody giving me 100 a month like I, I don't know if I can actually feel comfortable with somebody giving me like just saying here's a hundred and it's like I don't know like I, 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 I appreciate that but I don't know if I can accept that such a large amount I don't know if I actually want to accept such a large amount so I'll, I'll probably delete those but again like the only nothing will ever be gated the only thing that might be gated is like if you give me 25 I'll be like okay well you know that that's like the price of a commission so I'll, I'll do you have a first owner and I'll draw you a picture so like yeah that's that's probably the only one that I would kind of lock because that's that's still a lot of money 25 is still kind of a lot of money so that's that's that but Spyro but Spyro let's let's use Fiora but Spyro this is a streamer as well Fiora and uh, if you type in her Twitch, your uh, Twitch. Uh, yep, they. Well, YouTube. Where's your Twitch? Where's your Twitch? How, how's there only one result? You're on Twitch. You're on Twitch, my girl. Does do you have a link to your Twitch? Okay, she does. She does. She does. But but Spyro. But Spyro. What about the other thing? What about the other thing, which is what some streamers do, which That's is awesome. pause. The donation bar, the tips bar, and uh, no, this. No, I've got this. <laughs> shush, shush, and this little thing down here, like, oh look, there is, there is her, her character, and whenever a tip comes in, the pennies fall into the jar, and then, then more, more tips. More tips go up. So what? What about this tips goal? There would never be a tips goal. I will. I will not be taking any kind of tips from Twitch because again, if you want to support, go to Patreon. I can see all my numbers, and once we hit that goal on Patreon, like if we ever hit 500 a month, that's fine. That's that's the 500. You don't you don't need it. Now, there, there is the little things like um, her, her little pony here with the, the things. And I have looked at that. Like, if we go to YouTube, hit up our boy, Simple Flips. Simple Flips. He has the same thing. Uh, simple Flips. Two days ago. Give me a Simple Flips live stream. Let's go to his videos. And let's just get one from about a month ago. The Green Demon. Oh no, that's the Green the Demon. No, 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 no. That's an edited video. <laughs> no, 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 no. So give me, give me uh, the challenge hack. That'll do. Uh, Clapping my tits. So man. I have thought. Have four tits zoom out, please. Me. Simple flip shots. Simple I flips. The there we go. So I have thought. You know, he gets the little tips jar. He drops the bups, he drops the little bups and tips bits into the tips jar. I have thought about like having a little thing. And what I would do is this. So let's open Streamlabs one last time. Let's minimize this. Here's what I think I would do. Just to just to have something there to say like, hey, that's good. I would open. Please. Again, this is why you shouldn't have two recorders going. I would have the stream playing. Maybe have the border. Let's get to paint. Let's get to paint. Paste it. And what I would probably do is I would have it so small, just so you couldn't see it, in my golden letters. But give me, give me a brush. And give me like this size. That's kind of thick. But all I would have like down here... In the bottom corner is like how much we currently have towards the goal. So like it just be a tiny thing there. Let, let, let's say for a minute we had 42 out of 500. It would just be a tiny thing in the bottom corner. And depending on like what 
level we're at, I'll change the colour of the gem every 100. So, like, the first 100 would be a red gem, you know, so red. The first 100 would be a red. Then the second 100 would be a green. And you just change it to a green. The third 100 would be the blue, even though that would be hard to see on PlayStation. The fourth 100 would be the yellow. And the fifth 100 would be purple. That That's all I would do. Because again, like, just put that there and think about what we've got. We've got, back to gold, we've got the uh, borders we can swap out. We've got the big border for the art pieces and then all that would be an art piece. If we ever had a webcam, that would take up this entire bottom corner here. So you're already cutting out, like, a lot of the screen to put shit in. So I, I wouldn't really need, like like any of this I, I wouldn't need like a little tips jar I wouldn't need th this like m maybe just because like that is really tiny compared to simple flips is one like maybe maybe um, I would have and I think I've got a picture of her yeah that one will do for a minute because we're on paint open with paint like I would probably have Spyro paint like how big? How big would we want this? I would maybe have like... Come on, Paint. God, Paint is such a crap program to work with. But I would maybe, at the most, have like... That big? Like, just a tiny, tiny one? Maybe like there? Not even that. I think even that's maybe too big. Like, make that smaller like maybe that big like maybe there next to the gems like maybe I'll, I'll change the facial expression every every hundred to say like oh you know I'm sad that I've got zero money sad face and then like as it builds up to 500 by 500 we're like you know this kind of face like yeah we got all the money but you know maybe a tiny thing there or, or you know maybe just if we don't have a webcam just maybe put it like even smaller, just like there in the corner, away away from the webcam, so it's not that intrusive. Like I probably wouldn't even even do this with all with all this shit, but like or, or again the the simple fi flips, simple flips is massive. Well, I suppose that's because he's got the speed run timer, and you know, if you press play, you can also see what buttons he's pressing on the controller, like up there. So. Mm, probably that but definitely that this one like it'd be tiny it'd be incredibly incredibly small if we did that so yeah that's that's the plans that is the the plans for the future where we're going to be doing a lot more live streams but we're going to be treating them more as live let's plays and the patreon i'm, I'm gonna have a look at changing some of the wording and just like getting some some tiers set up and I have got a, a thing ready like I have been this is another thing I was experimenting with like do I want just the gold because I put this at the end of every video uh, and at the end of every live stream I guess because I can just bring it up like this do I want gold names or if you've got YouTube do I want to put the YouTubes and I kind of like oh look that looks kind of nice because it's like hey everybody could see like Everybody's YouTube. Even if you're, you, you'd still get this if you're a dollar. By the way, if you had a YouTube and you give me a dollar, you'd still get this. But it's like, hey, you know, that's nice. You could promote everybody. You could see everybody's YouTube. But this big white like square doesn't look nice, and I kind of prefer the gold text. So I don't know which way round I would do this. I don't know how I'd want that to look. I'd probably just go with the golden text, but. Yeah, that that's now just like end of every video in 2020, barring the next one though, because I'm I've obviously got this one. This is just going up right now, and it's still going to use the same description, which you know do, doesn't even have Twitch. Where's your Twitch link? Where where's your where's your stream link? Don't even have Twitch in there. And you know, during editing, I'm gonna have to. I, don't know, I just thought during editing. I'm going to have to cut out one little thing from the Google Drive, because there is a Google Drive link to a script I'm working on. Shh, can't see that, so that's a slight edit, but yeah, 
you know, it'd be like, where's your Twitch link, Spyro? You're not even got your Twitch link in here. You're not even got your Twitch link in there. Where's that? And, you know, I've got I've got the end slate artists, but no Twitch link. So, hmm, got to change my description. But this video and the next video will have the, the boilerplate description for a minute. Because this one is just a New Year's message saying what we're doing going forwards. And hopefully you all like that change. And the next one, it's already planned. It's already uh, on the go. Let's just, you know, let's just click it. Which is a game that came out last year. Uh, but it came out just a little bit too late. Just get, Oh, it was made with Unity as well. Didn't even know that. But it came out just a little bit too late to, to get any kind of awards, to get any mentions. It came out at the, at the beginning of December. Or, yeah. Oh, that's loud. That's loud. Let's just turn that down. But yeah, it came out at the beginning of December. So there was there was no way in hell it was going to get on last year's games lists because I'd already made the lists. I was already recording, but I was aware of it, and I was like, okay, well, we'll we'll, we'll grab it right now at the beginning of the year. So it's it's already installed. It's already to go. So tomorrow there will be a first impressions of Bug Fable. And then we will like get set up with the with the streaming and stuff for 2020. So that's that's how that's gonna work. But first, just just while we're here, can we uh, can we get full screen on this, please? Because I don't want to have to uh, full screen uh, on off on. What if I put it on? Well, if I put it on. I'm just going to leave it like that for two seconds while I do the wrap up. Because I need to know if, like, Camtasia is recording this. Or if I'm going to have to put it in windowed mode. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see if this records. Or if we put it in windowed mode. But, yeah, you got to got a little sneak peek of what's to come tomorrow. But, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. That's, that's me message. That's me, um, that's me, me plans for 2020. Where it's going to be a lot more live streams, but more like live let's plays. And we're going to, uh, when, once the stream's over, we're going to edit the let's plays. And if anybody's giving me any money on Patreon, then we're going to have a Patreon screen at the end. And I will not be taking it. No content will be gated off. And I do not need any kind of um, Twitch tips. I don't need any tips whatsoever. I'll just get it when patreon comes in As, and again i am not i am saying this ag again to reiterate this is not me sitting here saying guys i need i need you to step it up the youtube adsense ain't making any money i need you to step it up i need you to uh, give me money no 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 i i am I, ha I have a job i have a job that pays more than enough to do what i i am or to pay the bills, the pay the the rent, the groceries, etc. I have a job, but of course, it's more just a point of that job takes hours away from streaming. So if you want to see streaming full time, that that you know the more money that comes in from Patreon, the more I can say to Mr. Boss Man, hey, I can cut my hours down. I don't need as many hours, and if we hit the goal of 500 a month which would be paying for gas electricity the rent the groceries if we hit that 500 a month then i could say okay mr boss man i am making pretty much the same amount from you as i am here and this is what people want so this what i gonna do and then i will do that full time but again you are under no obligation at all to do that i i am if you don't, that's fine. I am in a perfectly fine position. You don't have to worry about it. So just, I just wanted to reiterate that because some people are like, "Oh, so you're just going to start begging?" No, no. We'll there'll never be any moment where where we're like, "Hey, tips are low tonight. Tips are low tonight." No, it's just it's just hearing this video saying it's there, and at the end of every recording session or at the end of every live stream. It'll probably be like, oh, thank, thank you for coming out and watching. Um, if you enjoyed streams, you can watch the edited versions on YouTube. 
can also come into the Discord. You can also come into the uh, the Twitter, tweet me, talk to me, whatever. And then a slight plug at the end saying yes, there is a Patreon if you wish to donate. But it won't be it won't be constant. It won't be throughout the stream. They'll there'll be a non-existent thing. So yeah, that's that's all I wanted to say. And we are we are now in 2020. So I will I will see all of you in the next video, which will be unedited because it's just the first impressions. It's going to be a live react, not live. I probably will just do this. I'll probably just record this like alone right now after I'm done with this message. But you know, this is going to be an unedited reaction to. Bug Fable, my first initial thoughts live off the bat, and we'll go from there. We'll we'll set streams up, we'll set some some Patreon stuff up. But yeah, we'll we'll go from there. But that's that's my New Year's message. So thank you all for watching, and um, I hope you enjoy everything that I'm doing and everything that you're doing this generation. I hope you have a very good uh, year and now a very good generation. You know, there's. It's crazy because some people might only just be leaving college looking for a job. Some people might only just be leaving school and getting into college. You know, I this is going to be a, a shift for lots of people because we're, we're going into the next 10 year cycle. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be big changes across the across the generation for a lot of people. So. For all of you that are just finishing school, like Alex, you know, I hope you get into college. I hope you have good luck with college. And for all of you leaving college, hope you hope you get the job you want. I hope you find a good job. So, hey, there you go. That's that's everything. I, I'm terrible at ending videos, so I'm gonna see you tomorrow when we do the first. Well, I'm gonna do it right now, but I'll see you tomorrow where you'll see first impressions of Bug Fable. The Everlasting Sapling, which as you can see from the background with the cardboard boxes and stuff, it resembles Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. You know, the good, the good Paper Marios. That's why I always recommended it, because it's like, oh Spyro, it's actually like an RPG. It's like the good Paper Marios. You know, it's got level up systems, it's got an actual battling thing, and it's not, it's not the cards. Like, it's... It's Thousand Year Door, so we'll see if it's the spiritual successor. I've been giving it on that recommendation, so we'll see. But yeah, I'll, I'll see you all tomorrow when, when you see this.